Glam Kitchen gang. This is Shantae with the Glam Kitchen. And today we're gonna make some bomb honey barbecue meatloaf. As a reminder, all of the ingredients and all of the instructions are listed for you in the description box. You can click on the link, it'll take you right to the recipe. Now let's get into this recipe because it's about to go down. In a large bowl, you want to add your two pounds of ground beef, seasoning salt, ground black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, one cup of plain breadcrumbs, two eggs that are beaten, Worcestershire sauce, <laughs> try saying that five times, minced garlic, Dijon mustard, Charlotte barely wanted to come out of there. I should have used a spoon. <laughs> About two tablespoons of minced red onions. Two tablespoons of green bell pepper. You want to finely dice those. Lastly, add one tablespoon of chopped parsley, and then you're going to give all of this a good mix. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You wanna get all in there and make sure it is well mixed so that all your seasonings and everything is just evenly distributed throughout that nice meatloaf. Go ahead and spray some nonstick spray in an oven safe baking dish. Here I'm forming the meat into a loaf. I make it into like a little oval, but you know, whatever shape you wanna make it <laughs> to you, boo. As you can see here, I'm kind of like smoothing it so that it's no holes on the top of the loaf. When it's done, you just place it in the pan. All right, so let's make this honey barbecue sauce. In a small bowl, add one cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. I use Sweet Baby Ray's, I love that stuff. Add a half a cup of honey, followed by two tablespoons of ketchup. Give it a good mix and set it aside. We're gonna pour half of that mixture over our meatloaf before we put it in the oven. gonna bake this for 35 minutes. We're reserving the other half uh, for the second coating after the 35 minutes is done. All right, it's cooked for 35 minutes. You're gonna put the rest of the sauce on there and then you're gonna put it back in the oven for another 30 to 35 minutes. Now, if you love sauce, don't put it all on there. Save some so that you can, you know, drizzle over it when you plate in your food. All right, and this meatloaf is done. It has cooked a total of about 70 minutes on 350, and now I'm just cutting into it so that we could go ahead and get this plated. Y'all know top tier recipes go on top tier plates, so look how pretty it is plated. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle some fresh parsley over it for garnish. I mean, this meatloaf 
is just giving best you ever had. I mean, it is, just look at it. <laughs> We're gonna plate this pretty meatloaf. I made mashed potatoes and garlicky green beans with it, but you know, feel free to freestyle on your side dishes. These two are just my favorite sides to eat with meatloaf, and I highly recommend them. There's already a mashed potatoes recipe on the blog. If y'all want the garlicky green beans as a recipe, just let me know in the comments. And there you have it, Glam Kitchen Honey Barbecue Meatloaf. It's a whole vibe, y'all. <laughs> now I'm about to go in on this tasty meatloaf. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow the Glam Kitchen on Instagram and check out the full recipe at the link in the description box. Bye bye